All right, we are getting ready here in Rome. We are situated just outside Rome in a small suburb called Ostia. We're gonna see the final between the Netherlands and the home favorites, Italy. Here we have Evelyn Dobinga and Emily van der Velde. They started playing together a couple of years ago and uh, they have improved a lot in a very short time. And for Italy we have Sara Cupolini and Elisa Mainardi. So Sara Cupolini and Elisa Mainardi for Italy. We've seen Sara play in the EFVL many times before. This time with a new partner, Elisa Mainardi. She started playing football just two years ago during the pandemic. And she has impressed us a lot here from commentating all the games. When uh, these guys actually played in the same group uh, and when they met, uh, Italy won that game 18-10. Now it's best of three sets to 18, 18 and 15 points. So it will be interesting to see how this game will go. I think it's hard to call out any clear favorites in this game as well. So, once again, I will say 50-50. Let's see who brings Yeah, but who brings it to this game. Elisa and they play Italia play at home. It's make a small advantage. Yeah, you can already hear on the crowd they have a lot of support. Everything feels familiar. They haven't traveled far. Actually, they have because uh, Sara lives in Valencia in Spain. Wow, what a save. Ooh. A flying start. Literally a flying start for Italy. Sara with a great save. As I was saying, Sara, she lives in Spain, in Valencia, where she works and plays football. Elisa, she comes from Pesaro, on the east coast of Italy, of Italy, and uh, plays together with a lot of people from uh, Cervia and Rimini. So, okay, let's get into this game. Already 4-0 for the Italian girls. We've seen the level of the Dutch girls getting better and better throughout the tournament. Wow! Five zero. Elisa serving, and they serve Emily van der Velde for Netherlands. Ah, oh. and they finally get the point on the scoreboard. Five, one. Five, one. Vantaggio, Italia, Italia. Was a uh, set about very near from the net, very difficult for Emily to take this ball. But now Sarah serving.
We have some fans on a live chat from Holland cheering for Emily and Evelyn. Oh, nice. Nice save from Evelyn there. Oh. oh. Smart ball. They were not organized in defense. They had to change sides for a little bit and they, f they found it. Already 7-1 for Italy. Double touch there for Emily. 8-1. Amazing start for Italy, and we have a timeout. Yeah, it's been kind of strange watching the girls from Netherlands play in this tournament because they have had really bad periods in every game, I think. Yeah. And then suddenly they just turn it around and have really good periods for yeah. like 10 points straight. You see, there is, uh, I think, Antonio is there coaching now. Okay, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a final. And, uh, the pressure is different, so. Yeah. Very loud here right now. A lot of music, a lot of cheering from the crowd. Very good atmosphere. There's some wind here right now, more wind than we've seen uh, the whole day. That affects it, especially on the serve. Nice save from Evelyn. If you're watching this stream from our webpage, footballeurope.com, you can also click on a YouTube link uh, and uh, go into YouTube and watch it there. Then you will also see uh, uh, our live chat. Please send us questions or comments if you want, and we will try to answer them. Bad call from Elisa. I think uh, Sara was uh, ready to take that ball, but yeah, yeah. she said, no, 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 no. It's important to take this ball if it's, it's too near. Just take the ball and play. Yeah. Wow, that ball stayed on the net for a good solid two <laughs> seconds, I think. Yes, yes. Let's see, we have a replay here with us. One, two, <laughs> two seconds. <laughs> wow, impressive. So, a very comfortable lead, 9-2. Elisa back to serve. Ooh, yeah. Easy mistake from Emily. It's beautiful weather down here. Jakob Busch uh, wants to know how hot it is. It's uh, 27 degrees right now. Really nice playing weather. Uh, earlier today, it was really the, s the sun was really strong. We had to put some uh, water on the courts because it was burning the feet of the players. But right now, everything is perfect. Jelle Hoekstra uh, wants to see a shark attack from Evelyn. And we've seen a shark attack or two from her in every game. So I'm guessing you will see one. Ooh, nice attempt from Elisa, but a little bit too short, and the score is now 
difficoltà. Questo è il foot volley yeah and we have a different commentator uh, in yeah. <laughs> behind we also have a commentator for the sky TV behind us let's see if you can save that one nice oh in the corner wow this is one of the big strengths of evelyn she's so experienced in this game so she can, she trusts herself when she gets close to the net, yeah. and she saves a lot of balls. Oh, difficult serve, but Elisa managed to save it. No, so they're uh, far away from the net now. Second ball from Evelyn. Elisa with the net roller. Oh, nice save from Emily. Oh, a very nice rally. 12-5. So a seven point lead. This is a major lead in this first set. We play best out of three sets to 18, 18, and 15 points. And look how they are positioned over the... They, Emily will get the serve. And Evelyn is pushing closer and closer to Evelyn. No, to Emily. 13-5. Thirteen five. Oh, you think wow. this set is already over for uh, the the Dutch girls? No, I'm not sure. I'm not sure because they make a lot of uh, bad start, and after they come again. Very quiet at the stadium right now. Very good serve from. Sara. Oh, barely out. Very nice attempt on a rainbow shot down the corner. Not the right moment to do a serve error. 14-6. This is not looking good for the first set. No. Serve Elisa now. No. The ball rolled down from the heap of sand. She gets to reposition the ball. Oh. Let's see what the call is. The call is out. You can also see when uh, the referee goes to the left of the post, he means that the point goes to the right. Wow. Oh. <laughs> 7 to 15. Yes. We've seen on, some great from rallies from the serve of Evelyn before in this tournament. Raise your voice. Come on. Bad set from Evelyn. Three controlled touches from the Italian girls. Nice. Oh. Holland, don't try to play one, two, three. It's a little bit uh, they, they want to, to make a direct point. Yeah, they want to score some easy points now to get back into this game. Let's see if that works. No. Nine fifteen. Fifteen to nine. 
So now it's six points. They're getting closer and closer. Evelyn serving yet again on Sara. Oh, uh, the set was not very, very yeah. far in the middle of the field. Yeah, far from the net. Difficult for Sara to to try a short ball on this position. Yeah, and too risky to do a short ball there, probably. Okay. Mm, I think there's a timeout now. Yeah, perhaps Soon, maybe. one. Yeah. There's a timeout. Know. Oh yes. You are my Nostradamus. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think it was an eight point lead or something like that. Eight yes. or nine point yes. lead. And, and now, now the lead is shrunken down to just four points. Looks like we have someone on the chat called Eine Besonderes Person. She likes the progress in this game and the points that uh, the Dutch women are taking right now. <laughs> Everybody waving their hands except the referees. They are working. And they are professionals. Yeah. All right, the timeout is over. Let's see if this timeout helps the Italian women to stop the server serves from uh, Evelyn Dobinga. Claudia Santana saying the Dutch women are so good. Yeah. We agree. I think that uh, Evelyn uh, found find again his uh, service. Yeah, we see like we talked about. We've seen this in other games in this tournament. Yeah. They start a little bit bad, have bad periods, but uh, suddenly they can serve in like five to ten points in a row. It's already two points. Yeah. 13 to 15 now. So it's important now for Sara just to stop the ball. She doesn't need to do anything special. Just stop the ball. Ooh. <laughs> All right, Sara serving now. Maybe she can get her revenge by serving in two straight points and winning the set. Nice defense from Elisa. Yeah. And wow. Oh, the shot. Oh, wow. <laughs> Set point here. And we change sides. We've seen that move from Elisa this whole tournament. She's very fast. She gets all the way up to the net. She runs a little bit past the ball and just returns it back where she comes from. Very impressive move. Yeah. Very hard to read. Set ball number two. Oh. Nice bicycle attempt from Evelyn, but the ball went out. First set, 18 13 to Italy. So we need to see a uh, Dutch team 
coming out stronger in this second set. They had a really bad start. Yeah, we will see what can make uh, Evelyn and Emily now. Yeah. There's a lot of players around the field. So we can see Antonio Aurino coaching the, the, the girls from the Netherlands. Let's see if he has something interesting to tell them and if they can adjust their strategy and they're playing a little bit. Seems like the strategy for Spain is pretty obvious. They serve everything on Emily. So I think with a with a good reception from Emily, they can uh, create yeah. a lot of good points. Yeah, before before they have played before Netherlands have played very well. This was every time the nice first reception from Emily, second ball perfect for Evelyn, and that's its point. And and now I don't know, perhaps. Yeah, it's say some win. I don't know if it's this turb or perhaps it's, it's just the final. That yeah. yeah. Okay, we start the second set. Evelyn Dominga serving on Sara. She had a really good run with serves. They almost had a amazing comeback to win the first set. So it seems like she's going doing the same thing, Evelyn serving Dominga. hard serves on Sara. <laughs> of course, I was wrong. <laughs> I think she meant that ball to be to Sara. She mishit it a little bit. At the moment, it's more Emily. There's not. She is not in the game. I think she make mistakes that I don't see before. Yeah, I agree. Good reception. They pushed him far back, that's good. Yeah, she misses. Oh, wow. Oh, on the outside of the line. Yeah, you can see Emily there missing that reception with her foot, right foot. And her right foot is really solid. So, yeah, she's a little bit off. But you know, in foot volley, these things can change quickly and you yeah. get the confidence back. Yeah, yeah. Perhaps with this point now, the confidence is back. That was a good reception from Sara. Okay, nice. And now, okay. Ah, oh, very nice. Cross there from Evelyn. Almost a good defense from Sara. And the score is now 3 1 for the Dutch women. Oh! That's the thing about Evelyn. She reaches yeah. uh, almost all the balls. Yeah. Sara to serve. The score is 3 2 to uh, Netherlands. Again, oh. good save from Evelyn. <coughs> oh, nice set. Oh. Wow. Oh. What a Incredible. smart ball. Elisa plays very smart yeah, yeah. football. Yeah. Evelyn was 
all the way back on the baseline, even behind the baseline. She just puts the ball in front of the net. It's a long run for Evelyn to, to cover that. Yeah, we discussed with Elisa this morning and she started just two years ago. Huh? Yeah. She told us when the pandemic started, she uh, stopped playing football, I think, and started playing uh, football. -y. So in just two years, impressive improvement. Yes, uh, already in the, <laughs> in the fi final. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That ball was a little bit too close to the net for Emily, and the set, this set has turned around, and now Italy is in the lead 4 3. Oh. Unfortunate there. Okay. Let's see if Evelyn can start another raid from her serves. Another rally. <coughs> All right. The score is. Hey, hey, hey! Two seconds. <laughs> I just saw the referee putting the wrong score in. He fixed it pretty quick. Oh, oh nice. Nice save. save. No, too close. Oh. 6 4. So that's two points on serve for Evelyn. Yeah, already. Uh, very nice yes. serve. Three uh, points in a row. Yeah. Another good serve. You see the reception is behind Elisa, very hard. Strong point from Netherlands. So that's four points in a row from the serve of Evelyn. And the score is 8-4. Uh, just a reminder, Italy won the first set. Yeah. And uh, now, I don't know, perhaps a timeout will be important. Yeah. That's five points in a row. I think we're going to see a timeout pretty soon. And there it is. Ah, bah, voilà. <laughs> <laughs> so five points on serve for Evelyn so for Italy now it's all about stopping the serve just get your body behind the ball stop it have your partner come close to you so no one coaching them over there in the corner. Can you see anyone? Yeah, there's someone coaching them. Yeah. Yeah. Telling them uh, it's something about how to stop this serving streak from. It's Luca? Evelyn. No. <laughs> Look at the Dutch girls, they are fired up, dancing with the music. These girls love to dance, love to have a good time. Oh, 
Good job, guys. Thank you very much for your support. Bravi, bravi, All right, bravi. five points in a row for Ev Evelyn on her serve. A good reception no. from Sara. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's like we talk about a lot today. Everything starts with a good reception. It makes everything so much easier. So Elisa serving now. Let's she see if she can have a rally on the second ball now for e Evelyn. Nice. Great save. Wow. Nice save from Elisa. Oh. Elisa doesn't play like she has played only two years. No, no, she, she played that uh, already 20, 20 years. Yeah. But that doesn't help her there. The point goes to Netherlands. And now they serve. And now it's Emily's turn. Let's see if she can get a streak of points. The score is now 10 5. That ball goes over. Oh. The score is 6 10. And now it's Sara's time to serve. She also has uh, some very good serves. And there's more wind in the air right now. The wind is coming from all over the place, so it's very hard to know what's going to happen with the ball. It might act a little bit strange in the air. Seven ten. Yeah, I think you were right about your comments about Emily. She's a bit pass passive right now. She needs to get uh, into the game. But still, 11-7 for the Netherlands. All right, Evelyn back to serve. Good reception from Sara. The set wasn't so good, but no, Elisa. nice fix from Emily. Nice. Ooh. Oh, touched the net. Yeah, I think we can all agree that was a net touch. Yes. Thank you, guys. All right, three points different. Eight, eleven. Elisa to serve. You see, Evelyn steps over to catch that ball. Oh, touch the line. That ball just hit the line, and there's a timeout from the Netherlands, and now it's a timeout. Yeah, all the pre all the pressure is on the Dutch team. They lost the first set. They yeah. have to win this set to be able to get the the coveted title of European Football League Champions 2022. I see they have the uh, Antonio. They <laughs> they cross all the public room. <laughs> Antonio had to go for a run. Let's hope he doesn't get too tired. Again, they're discussing tactics. 
also on the side of Italy there's a lot of talk about tactics how to play in the last part of this set All right, the score is 9-11, Elisa to serve. Oh, nice setup. Elisa also very quick. She covers a lot of the a lot of the court. Okay. 10 11. And the comfortable lead is gone. I yeah, we need to make sure Emily gets some more self-esteem right now. She has played really well in this tournament. She just have to turn on the on switch. Nice shock. No. There's a question online if the sun is inconvenient for the players. It's a little bit inconvenient. It's uh, much lower now, but it's on the side of the court. If you look at the shadow for the players, so it's not really that bad. Oh, almost a nice save there. From Sara. And the Netherlands take back the lead. 12-11. But talking about the sun, I would say the worst place, uh, the worst, uh, the sun is probably worst for Sara in the position she plays right now when she's facing Elisa. To set the ball. Wow. Oh, nice, Elisa. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Such an impressive place. She's so fast, Elisa. Yeah. All right, serve back to Sara. You can see Evelyn, she has stepped all the way into the middle of the field. But they stick to their plan to serve Evelyn. I mean. Nice defense and nice set. Yes. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I She's injured? I don't know. I don't know. No, I don't think so. Huh? I just think the energy is not really there. But the game is not over. No. The, uh, the score is 13-12. So now Italy is back in the lead. Okay, good. No, that it's important. Oh, it just touches the net barely. Just with the t-shirt, I think just the t-shirt. This yeah. is very. T-shirt is also a part of the player, so that counts as a touch. Nice serve. And what was a comfortable lead for 
in the Netherlands is now a 15-12 lead for Italy. And Sara now serving really well. That ball goes over. Second ball, yes. You can see more second balls from Evelyn in uh, this game. She wants to take away the risk of doing three touch and trying to score some easy points. 13-15. So. Oh, that ball came in so low at the net that uh, Evelyn didn't know if that ball would just go straight down in the sand or touch the net. So very hard to to know what's going to happen. Elisa with the serve. The score is now 16-13. And we have a match point. A, match point. a very nice serve. She got uh, help from the wind coming from behind. She served into the wind with topspin, and the ball kind of dipped a lot in the end. Elisa now serving for the match. And then she serves. And Evelyn side, what a great win for Italy. They outplayed the Dutch women today. Very, very impressive. So, a, a big congratulations to Italy, Sara and Elisa. A very impressive performance. They came, they came to this final prepared and willing to win, do whatever it takes to win. So, we just have to say a big congratulations to Italy winning their, I think this is their first, first title as the European champions. Evelyn Dobinga, she has won a couple of times before, at least. Uh, but this time she cannot win. They did a great job. But I've seen them much better in uh, the earlier stages of this tournament. So right now, we will prepare ourselves for the big final, the big men, men's final between Italy and Spain. It's actually Italy won and Spain won. Um, so we will be right back in about five minutes for the final. <laughs> 